हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल ऑफ यू सो इन आवर प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द ग्रैंड कनोनिकल इन सैम्बल एंड इन दिस वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द पार्टीशन फंक्शन ऑफ ग्रैंड कनोनिकल इन सैम्बल एंड व्हाट इज द रिलेशन बिटवीन दिस ग्रैंड कनोनिकल एंड कनोनिकल पार्टीशन फंक्शन एंड आफ्टर दैट वी हैव डिस्कस अबाउट द फिजिकल सिग्निफिकेंस ऑफ द वेरियस स्टेटिस्टिकल क्वांटिटीज इन विच वी हैव ड्राइड आउट द टर्म दैट इज द फ्यूजिसिटी ऑफ द सिस्टम एंड हाउ इट इज रिलेटेड विद दिस ग्रैंड पार्टीशन फंक्शन now in this uh, two days lecture we will discuss about uh, the recipe for driving the various uh, thermodynamic quantities which we can derive out from um, this uh, grand partition function so <clears throat> let us uh, start our two days lecture so since uh, uh, we have a drive uh, the a term uh, that is known as the q potential which is equal to pv over kt and uh, i will just recall all those where we have introduced a term that is the fugacity of this system and the fugacity it is the capacity or the tendency of the particle to prefer one phase over the another and it is generally representing the escapability uh, of the particle so after that we have uh, uh, find out the relation of this q which is a uh, equal to log of summation of exponential of minus alpha and r uh, minus of beta into es so from that we have derived out uh, the relation so that is equal to summation of rs z raised to power and r so if we introduce this fugacity in this uh, um, relation so this equation becomes exponential of minus beta into es and uh, from that uh, this uh, a bracket term that is generally considered as uh, the partition function so we can uh, say that uh, this is equal to log of summation of z into n r and this is summation of exponential of minus beta into es so that is generally represented as uh, the partition function of canonical ensemble so this uh, q uh, comes out to be log of we can write out as uh, uh, the l term which is uh, z v and t that is dependent upon these three parameter and this uh, uh, some notations uh, uh, so they can write it as z v and t or in some books it is written as q which is dependent upon these three parameter and this is known as the grand canonical partition function so the value of this uh, grand canonical partition function so i will write it here so it is equal to summation of z n r into canonical ensemble partition function so this is the relation between uh, the grand canonical and the canonical partition function so let us uh, derive out uh, the various uh, thermodynamic parameters from these uh, relations so we can uh, find out the value of pressure from this equation so which is equal to q k t over v and putting the value of uh, this q which we have find out so the value of this uh, pressure it comes out to be k t over v into q which is equal to log of uh, Uh, the grand canonical partition function so similarly <clears throat> so by solving this equation you can find out the value of pressure so similarly we can find out uh, the expectation value of uh, uh, the number of systems that is n so that is equal to z v and t which is uh, minus curly over curly alpha into q which is uh, z v and t so this equation uh, the value of this uh, expectation value of n and e 
so which we generally also call it as the eigen values so the value of this e you can also find out which is equal to minus curly by curly beta of q z v into t so uh, putting the value of this q so this equation comes out to be minus curly by curly of alpha so if i can write it uh, curly q over curly z so if i break it so let us uh, redo it minus curly over curly z into curly z over curly alpha and putting uh, or introducing the value of this z i can write this equation as minus curly of curly z into curly by curly of alpha z is exponential of minus alpha so this equation comes out to be z curly q over curly z so this is how you can uh, uh, derive the relation of uh, uh, n with respect to fugacity and how the number it is being changed with respect to it so similarly you can find out the expression for this e so which is we generally write it as the average value per system so that we can also write it as u so which is minus curly over curly beta into q so the derivative of q with respect to beta so we can also rewrite this equation if we open the value of this beta so beta is 1 over kt and uh, the derivative of uh, this beta with respect to t so i can write it as minus 1 over kt square so db so i can write it as minus 1 over kt square into dt and if i because this is in the denominator so i can write it as 1 over db which is equal to minus kt square over dt so i can write this equation as u v into t so this is uh, minus so minus of kt square over dt into q which is z v and t so here we can write it as d q so this is uh, kt square into d q over dt so once we find out the value of uh, this u from that we can find out the helmholtz free energy so a that is uh, the gibbs free energy which is equal to a plus uh, pv and this uh, gibbs ensemble from this gibbs ensemble we have Uh, derived out its value which is equal to minus mu into n bar where mu that is uh, generally known as the chemical potential so putting the value of a which is equal to u minus ts so this equation becomes u minus ts plus pv or uh, similarly we can find a uh, write this a which is equal to mu n bar minus of pv so putting the value of n and p which we have derived we can uh, write this equation as n kt log of z minus pv is equal to q into kt so this is n k t log of z minus k t i can write this q which is uh, dependent upon these three parameters within the bracket so let us uh, take all those common parameters outside so taking k t which is uh, common so this equation becomes 
so let us first put the value of this q then i will take this kt as common so log of z minus kt and this q which is equal to log of the grand canonical partition function <clears throat> so this i can write it as n kt log of z so log of so if i take minus sign as common and kt as common so this equation becomes log of uh, grand canonical partition function minus of n log of z so a it becomes equal to minus of kt log of grand canonical partition function minus of log z raised to power n so this a we can write it as minus of kt log of grand canonical partition function over z raised to power n so this is uh, the value of uh, Helmholtz free energy so so the value of a for the canonical ensemble so which we have derived so that is equal to minus of kt log of q n if you remember so this is uh, you can see the difference how it is uh, dependent upon the value of this uh, fugacity so in the grand canonical ensemble so when the number of uh, uh, particles which are being exchanged between the system and the reservoir and due to that uh, this uh, fugacity or fugacity so how you pronounce it so it is uh, uh, also uh, varying and uh, the grand canonical partition function it is dependent upon the value of this uh, fugacity so similarly you can uh, find out uh, the value of entropy uh, from this Helmholtz free energy uh, so a which we generally known as u minus of ts and from that you can find out the value of entropy so this is u minus a so s which comes out to be u minus a over t so u is the expectation value of energy per system a is the uh, Helmholtz free energy and T is the temperature so U and A or you can write this equation as uh, the E bar over T uh, sorry E bar is uh, here minus of A so putting the value of this uh, average energy uh, the value of Helmholtz free energy uh, in this equation and we can find out the value of uh, entropy so e bar which we have derived it is a kt square curly q over curly t minus a which we have derived it is equal to minus of kt log of grand canonical partition function over z raised to power n so this log is for the whole bracket term over t <clears throat> so when we solve this uh, so t is uh, common it get cancelled so this equation becomes uh, kt square or if uh, t and t get cancelled so this equation becomes k into t curly q over curly t plus this minus and minus get plus sign so k log of grand canonical partition function minus of log z raised to power n so opening this uh, logarithmic equation we will get this equation and uh, this uh, log of uh, grand canonical partition function this is equal to q so this equation becomes s which is kt dq over dt plus k into q minus of n k log of z so this uh, k is a common 
for both the equation so this uh, will come k here as well so this uh, z we know z is equal to exponential of minus alpha so putting the value of this z so we can also write this z as exponential of alpha which is equal to mu over kt so taking log of z because we have to take log of z so log of z which is equal to mu over kt and uh, nk log of z so this becomes nk mu over kt so that is equal to mu n over t so mu n again we know that is equal to the gibbs free energy so this is how you can uh, drive out the relation between these various thermodynamic parameters so this kt curly q over curly t plus q k minus mu n over t so further we can solve so this equation s comes out to be kt curly q over curly t plus q k so this equation we can write it as kt curly q over curly mu into mu over t so this uh, dq with respect to mu so that it terms uh, goes equal to zero so s comes out to be k so q uh, is here so this we can write it as curly by curly t into q of t so this term is uh, zero because of uh, uh, the value of q it is a constant uh, for uh, this uh, mu v and t so that's why this uh, derivative with the mu it is equal to zero so this is the value of entropy which we have uh, found for this uh, grand canonical uh, ensemble so let us uh, do one uh, example of this uh, grand canonical uh, uh, ensemble that is of the classical ideal gas uh, so in uh, this uh, grand canonical ensemble so the value of uh, <coughs> uh, the q value so uh, in the classical ideal gas uh, we generally consider the particles are indistinguishable because they are uh, non localized and uh, the value of this uh, uh, qn which we have derived out in canonical ensemble so qn which we is uh, dependent upon this uh, at constant v and t so this we can write out uh, the partition function of uh, uh, one system raised to power n over n factorial so we divide this partition functions when the particles they are indistinguishable so you can see that uh, this uh, partition function uh, uh, of this uh, if we are talking about the one particles they are non localized so they what does it mean so it means me that they can be anywhere in a space uh, or in the confined uh, phase space region which is uh, provided to them so this partition function it is uh, dependent uh, directly uh, with respect to this volume of this confined region and uh, so this we can write it as v into f of t so where f t it is a function of uh, temperature alone and this we will introduce here so the value of this q n we can write out as v into f t over n factorial raised to power n so this is for uh, the canonical ensemble we can uh, find out uh, the uh, partition function so similarly for this uh, grand canonical ensemble uh, our partition function so that is uh, lambda which is dependent or uh, 
for these micro state z v and t so this equation is a summation of nr which is from 0 to infinity z raised to power nr into q nr for these micro states <clears throat> so this equation we can write out as summation of nr which is varying from 0 to infinity v into so in introducing the value of this uh, canonical ensemble partition function in this equation so this equation becomes raised to power n over n factorial into z raised to power n r <clears throat> so this is summation of n r which is uh, from 0 to infinity z v f t raised to power n r over n r factorial since n now we have replaced with this n r n r is the number of systems which are present in the grand canonical ensemble so n r and n it is being replaced with each other so this equation is uh, we have kept this uh, fugacity term within this bracketed term so this is what we get uh, the expression for this uh, grand canonical ensemble now if we relate this uh, term we know that summation of x raised to power n r over n r factorial so that is equal to 1 plus x plus x square over 2 factorial x cube over 3 factorial so and so the value of n r it is varying from 0 to infinity so this comes out to be exponential of x so similarly uh, our this relation so which we have derived uh, the partition function for grand canonical ensemble which is z v into f t raised to power n r over n r factorial so this is summation term so this comes out to be exponential of z v into f t so from this uh, we can uh, write uh, the value of this uh, q so q we know that is equal to log of this uh, uh, grand canonical partition function so this comes out to be log of exponential of z v into f t so this log and exponential they get cancelled out so the value of this uh, q potential so it is equal to z v into ft so once we find out the value of this uh, q potential or the uh, the statistical uh, uh, quantities for this uh, grand canonical ensemble from these we can find out the various uh, thermodynamic parameters from the value of this uh, q so q expression we all know that it is also equal to q is equal to pv over kt so we can find out the value of this uh, pressure which is equal to q t k t over v so this is k t over v into q which is uh, we can write it as so putting the value of q so this pressure comes out to be k t over v into z v into f t so the value of p it comes out to be k t z into f t so let us say this is our equation number one so similarly uh, we can find out the uh, expectation value of this uh, number of uh, uh, systems which are in grand canonical ensemble which is z into d q over uh, d z so this we have already derived in our previous slides you can check so this equation it comes out to be curly by curly of z putting the value of q which is z v into f of t so the value of n it comes out to be 
एन वी जेड वी इन टू एफ टी सो दिस इज इक्वेशन सो रिलेटिंग दीज इक्वेशन सो पी ओवर एन यू कैन सी सो इफ आई डिवाइड दिस इक्वेशन वन एंड टू सो पी ओवर एन सो डिवाइड वन एंड टू so p over n it is equal to kt over v so this gives us our uh, expression of pv is equal to n kt for this uh, classical ideal gas so this shows that all the expressions which we have derived for this q potential and the grand canonical partition functions so they are correct so similarly you can find out uh, the internal energy which is equal to kt square into curly by curly of t into q potential so putting the value of this q so this equation becomes kt square uh, curly by curly of t so this is z v into f of t so taking the derivative with respect to t so this equation becomes z v k t square into f dash of t so f dash that is representing uh, the uh, function derivative with respect to t so similarly you can find out uh, the various parameters i will not uh, drive uh, each uh, thermodynamic parameters so but you can uh, uh, find out all these parameters from these uh, relations so the value of this helmholtz free energy by putting the value of n uh, which we have derived and the p value which we have derived so a comes out to be n k t log of z minus z v k t into f of t so once you find out the value of this helmholtz free energy from that you can find out the value of this entropy so putting the value of this u a we have derived so you can find out the expression for entropy so which comes out to be minus n k log of z plus z v k t f dash into t plus f t so similarly you can find out the value of this specific heat curly u by curly t so this uh, is all about uh, the grand canonical ensemble and uh, the various thermodynamic parameters and we have uh, uh, discussed about uh, the classical ideal gas problem so similarly by considering uh, the uh, system which is considered as a harmonic oscillator and you can uh, drive out the partition function for this grand canonical ensemble and from that you can drive out the various uh, thermodynamic parameters from the value of this q potential so this has been derived in uh, your notes you can check from there so this is all about our unit number 2 and i will provide all the notes uh, i will share through whatsapp group so if you have any uh, doubt we will uh, have a zoom meeting in the evening where we will discuss all those queries and your doubts so okay dear students till then goodbye see you in the next lecture with the unit number 3 of statistical mechanics